sometimes Miriam gets a bit lonely. Her solution, conjuration. And I think that many of us have been there. Hey, I am Bekofi, and when I am lonely, I spend time with my anime waifus. Miriam, however, is the kind of girl that summons daydreak monsters from the plains of oblivion and who casts necromantic spells. And she is a judge because of this. That's because I installed the mod NPCs React to Necromancy by Jay Serpa. With this mod installed, the people of Skyrim will actually notice when you walk around the town with a zombie or conjured monster in your company. Stay away from me. You smell like a dead body. What manner of magic is this? Stay away from me! Uh, ah. Okay, so maybe what Miri needs is less necromance and more romance. I have just a follower mod for that. Let's go meet with the romantic male follower Kaidan. But first we need to find him. For that, we'll use the mod Compass Navigation Overhaul by Alex Silix. This mod shows the distance to areas around you and also brings up information regarding quests straight on the screen when you look at the general direction of the event. The compass also shows you in measurements of feet how much of a distance you have to the area you are facing. It is featured on the front of Nexus Mod's webpage for a reason. Enough dilly-dallying, we have a romantic encounter to do. On the way to do that, let's jump over tree branches and rivers and look cool like heck. With the mod Smooth Random Jump Animation by Smooth or Skypia, I'm not sure what name they prefer. With this mod, each jump will be more unique. It's not too masculine or too feminine. Bundle this together with Better Jumping by Meh321 and 65536 and you can jump straight from a sprint and gain momentum. The smooth random jump animation will actually react to better jumping sprint jumps and your character will leap forward. These two mods together take Skyrim movement to the next generation. Is this the way to Kaidan? Let's check our local map. And not just any local map, but local maps HD by Doodlesoid. It's a simple mod that makes the local maps high definition both outside and inside. Okay, thank you Local Maps HD and Compass Navigation Overhaul. We finally found the abandoned prison where Kaidan is supposed to be held. There are enemies here, so let's poison our weapons with the mod Animated Poisons by Juha. Just remember, if you're using Immersive Interactions by J Serpa, Turn off the conflicting animation in the MCM. You won't be able to spam poisons during a fight now, because you actually have to play the animation for applying a poison. Look over there, it's Kaiden. He's in a predicament. When I get out of here... I'll kill you all myself. What? Who are you? You're not with the Thalma, are you? Quick, get me free from here before- Mirin, would you be so kind as to free him? No? You bitch. You can't even unlock these shackles. Ah, you're a lifesaver. Kaiden 2 is a custom voiced follower by Liv Templeton, voiced professionally by voice actor Daniel Lemon. In addition, I downloaded the Kaiden 2 Extended Edition by Barb Wire Blonde. This adds new dialogue, and if you also have a follower named Inigo, they will now be able to interact, according to the mod page. Now, as a disclaimer, if there is something I learned from my previous mod review video, it is that custom voice followers for Skyrim can provide players with hundreds of hours of unique content. So this is little but a first impression. Feel free to check the download links to have him in your Skyrim, and experience Skyrim with him in your way. 
Now, having saved this man in distress, Mirin must take her reward from Kaidan. A night together, just the two of them. Stargazing, of course. They are stargazing in the middle of the night from the White Run balcony. A splendid sight indeed, because I have installed the mod. <laughs> no, because I have installed the mod Moon and Stars by Power of Free and W. Skiver. The official description describes the mod as a DLL plugin to fix moons and stars' movements and faces, and I agree. Now, to make matters even more romantic, let's make Kaidan an accomplice. A mod called Locked Chests Have Keys by J. Serpa, again, adds keys across Skyrim that are hidden in fun locations. Hi, what is it? I can tell you're a discriminating customer. Perhaps you're a wealthy one, too, hmm? You could just lockpick the chests, but it's more fun to search for hidden keys. The keys are abnormally huge, which adds to the comical value, but it also makes sense because it would not be fun to search for needle-sized keys. After making sure no one still alive witnessed the stealth robbery, we managed to find the key to Belfort's small money box and get the septum inside of it. Not even enough money to pay for our crimes. Now, to end this video, I want to mention a collection of awesome mods for combat. These are not necessarily popular right now, but should be. First off is Elden Rim by Black Achang, Arch Lee, D Tribe, the Bella Bless, and Jewelen. Quite the list there. This mod overhauls the stagger system in a basic yet effective and fair way. Approximately, you and opponents will now stagger at the third light attack strike and at two power attacks. When you wear two handed weapons, one power attack is enough, or two light attacks to stagger an enemy. What I truly want to focus on is the added items. The added items in Elden Rim are called runes that are inspired by, you guessed it, the game Elden Ring. There are four runes and my favorites are the Hound Rune and the Power Rune. By equipping these items, you'll be able to perform special skills when holding Alt and clicking the attack button on a keyboard. In addition, you'll get a Elden Rim Weapon Arts Power will change effect depending on which rune you have equipped. To use the weapon arts, press the shout button. Here you can also hold alt and press shout to use a third skill. With the hound rune's alt attack, you'll do an attack followed by a backstep. Press the shout button after the backstep or during it and you'll launch forward in the speed of light to attack the opponent again. With the add-on called Hound Step, the Hound Rune will change behavior and pressing the Shout button will now be a dodge. I mapped my Shout button to a side button on my PC mouse so I can use the dodge ability faster. Then we have Storm Calling Magic by Kitty Tail. This mod adds three storm focused spells. Mage's Fury is a cool spell that calls down thunder on the target. However, what grabs my attention is Streak. Streak throws the caster forward while damaging enemies in the way. <laughs> well done. I know how impractical it can be to go to the favorites menu every time to equip spells and swords to the correct hand or to memorize the hotkeys. That's why I use UI Integrated Hotkeys System by Neogul City. With this mod, I made a setup so that when I press Shift and 1, Mirin will equip her two-handed weapon together with the power rune. With Shift and 2, she'll equip a magic ward in the left hand and the spell streak in the right. Finally, with shift and free, she'll equip a sword and a shield, together with a hound rune, and an amulet that reduces incoming lightning damage by 
Speaking of which, I also tried out an animations overhaul mod and it adds momentum. The game plays like Sonic the Edgehog with that one. You can ask for more info in the comments if you want. Back to the reviewed mods. All these mods together change how I enjoy combat and that includes Recoil Redefined by Omeka1. Instead of staggering when you hit an enemy with a raised uh, shield or a block, you can keep on attacking. Same goes for opponents. This means that combo attacks can actually be performed and chained. Without this mod, it's normal for combos to be interrupted and start over from first attack because blocks will just stagger you if you attack a blocking enemy. So as a user of MCO, the modern combat overhaul mod, that's kind of boring. I want to truly see the cool animations that are added by the mod, so that's why I use Recoil Redefined. In this mod review, you have gotten to know more about mods popular in 2022 from the Skyrim mod community. Links will be in the description and maybe in comments too. And I hope you enjoy Skyrim. See you next video and as always, I appreciate the likes a lot.